Damascus, or Paradise on Earth, as the Syrian capital was once called, is one of the most fascinating cities in the Orient. Its colorful history is still very much apparent in its magnificent palaces. The Qazir al Azem now contains a museum. For the construction of the governor's residence that was completed in 1749, Roman columns from the ancient city of Bosra were also incorporated. The museum gives a fascinating insight into the daily life of the city's former inhabitants. Today, an impressive statue serves as a reminder of the city's famous monarch, Sultan Saladin. In the 12th century, he did much to improve the city. Nearby, the Kela Fortress was originally a Roman camp. This complex was completed in the 13th century. Following the old city wall in a southwesterly direction leads to the Mars Gate, the Baba Sagia, and a most interesting cemetery. These graves are centuries old. This is a place of silence in which it's possible to escape from the hustle and bustle of the old town. The cemetery is the final place of rest of many of Islam's important personages, as well as numerous of the nobility. A walk through the historic center of Damascus is like a journey through more than 2,000 years of Oriental history. In contrast to many other cities in the Near and Middle East, most of the original buildings within the Old Town have survived the test of time. Whether Persian, Greek, Roman or Byzantine, throughout its history Damascus has had many monarchs. Today, the city is mostly dominated by buildings that date back to Islamic times. The old Al Madrasa Az Zariya Academy is now a mausoleum. Within the Madrasa lie the bones of the powerful Mamluk Sultan Baybars, who once ruled over Syria and also Egypt. The city's strategic location at the junction of several important caravan routes gave rise to a large number of fortified inns or caravanserais such as the Khanazad Pasha Al-Azim. An important example of the architecture and culture of the wealthy citizens of the Damascus of bygone times is the residence of the Bet Nizam. It was built in the 18th century and was later the residence of various British consuls. For almost 100 years, one of the city's most popular and traditional high schools was to be found in another elegant civic building, the Bet Anbar. The magnificent Salam Lik courtyard is a fine example of Jewish architecture. 
The Bet Sibai dates back to the 17th century and indicates the wealth enjoyed by some of those who once lived in Damascus. Mainly decorated with fountains, the design of the inner courtyards was constantly embellished. Hustle and bustle and exotic aromas mark our arrival in the most lively district in Damascus, the shopping district or souk. Here thousands of tiny shops stock virtually everything. The souk al Hamadai dates back to the 19th century and is mainly occupied by textile and souvenir merchants. The city's historic hospital has a modest facade. The Al Bimaristana Nuri dates back to the 12th century. In addition to its function as a hospital, it was also a medical academy. There is also an exhibition that features the history of Arabian medicine. Up until the 19th century, the Albi Miristana Nuri was the city's finest hospital. Damascus Omayaden Mosque was built on sacred ground. There was once a Greek temple complex on this site. At the beginning of the 8th century, the original building and the former religious district were demolished on the orders of an Omeyyad Caliph. The Caliph Al-Walid had various plans for this area. For seven years, all the income that he derived from the taxes of the entire country was spent on the construction of a new mosque of gigantic proportions. The 140 by 40 meter building is overlooked by three minarets that can be seen from far and wide. The corner towers of this ancient holy district were the first minarets of Islamic architecture. The Omeyyad Mosque in Damascus was for many years the largest and most revered in the Islamic world. The splendid furnishings of its interior make this building a veritable treasure trove. The mosque has lost nothing of its magnetic appeal and several times each day its prayer hall accommodates hundreds of the faithful. The historic splendor of Syria's remarkable capital city really is like a paradise on earth.